And all month long, we've been bringing you some of the best soups we could find in our state to celebrate National Soup Month. But one soup we haven't talked about yet is pho. And Danny has a favorite spot she likes to hit up for this tasty dish and wants you to take to go there as well. So check it out. When you think chicken soup for the soul, what comes to mind? This? Well, for me, it's this. Pho was invented in Vietnam. Uh, in the early uh, 20th century, maybe like 1900, 1910, is it that early? Um, and the origin of fur is so increases so far away and so long ago that uh, there's a lot of uh, disputes, right? So there's no true origin. Everybody argues, but one thing we know for sure is that it originated from North Vietnam. In North Vietnam, fur was actually uh, very simple. It's just uh, fur broth uh, and beef, uh, and that's it. And, and beef fur was the original fur. Today, it's still enjoyed by many, but now around the world. And here in Denver, there's no exception, especially if you're eating with Long and Quinn at a nice modern Vietnamese eatery. Uh, in the 20 years I live in Colorado, now almost everybody knows pho. Yeah, in 20 years, in 20 years of Colorado. And not only do they know pho, they know how to eat pho. They know good pho from bad pho. So why name a restaurant after a spice? And to make pho, there are two spices that are, that are required to make pho. One is thigh nice stylus and the other one is uh, cinnamon. So we decided that we don't want to call our restaurant a pho something because there are so many pho something restaurants in Denver. Yeah, we, we don't in, want in to Denver. pick the number. Yeah. yeah. So we call our restaurant Anise because, you know, that's a, a main spice uh, to make pho. And the, the other reason is Queen, as a chef, right, executive chef, she doesn't want to make this a pho restaurant. She wants, she, she loves Vietnamese food, as she was saying earlier. She loves the Vietnamese food, she loves the taste. She wants to introduce Vietnamese food to uh, the American public. Even though that's true, pho is still Long and Quinn's top seller, and it's easy to see why. If you're thinking, eh, I can still just make this at home, why spend the money? Think again. So we put about uh, 64 pounds of bones into this uh, pot here, and then we simmer it. Uh, for 10, 11, 12 hours. And the, the, one of the one of the things that we do uh, that a lot of our restaurants do not do the same is, you see, our, our pot is actually smaller than all the other pots. And the other restaurants, other restaurants, they have, use a big, bigger pot. So so our broth is a lot more concentrated, right? Because it, all those bones are now in just that small uh, little broth there. You see on the bone and the meat, they're on the bone. On the bone, they're very simmer, they're very tender. See, you can see it, see? So, so, so right now, this is not pho. Okay, what we're making here, we're just making beef broth, just stock. Right, beef stock, and that's all it is, just stock. This over here is not pho. We transfer a portion of this over here, and now in this one, this is pho. After we're done with this, this is pho. Yeah. Okay, so we transfer a portion of this over here, add more uh, water, and add the spices that will turn it into pho. Quinn's love of cooking really started when she moved from Vietnam. So Quinn actually didn't, didn't cook much when she was in Vietnam. She came to America, and of course, there's not a lot of Vietnamese food in America, so she has to cook. And, and the other thing too is she, she wanted to cook for me. Yes, yes. And the yes. family, yeah. When I cook, and, and you cook, you enjoy it. And when I saw long eat and enjoy my kids, the same too, and make me more motivation to do more. And the love they put into their food started with their own love story. I went to uh, Vietnam uh, 15 years ago uh, for vacation. And uh, by chance, uh, you know, when, when an American goes to a, uh, a country like Vietnam uh, to go on vacation, uh, he tends to go to fancy restaurants for, for meal. I asked the uh, valet uh, person at the hotel uh, exactly that. I said, you know, I'm, t I'm very tired of all of the uh, restaurant food. I don't know what to eat today. I'm a little hungry. Uh, what do you think? So he said, you know what? There's a, there's a street cart, street food, uh, right? You know, not too far down from the hotel. So I went out there, and uh, at that time, Queen happens to be working then. So we, uh, uh, so, and, and it was late in the day, in the day uh, I think about 1.30, 2 o'clock, so it's not really busy, so I was the only uh, customer, so we started talking, and I said, wow, she's really pretty. And, 
And I thought, wow, a very pretty person who's very knowledgeable of this, you know, this, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna, she can be my wife. From then on, every day I, uh, I went there for uh, lunch, waiting for, you know, like a little later at lunch where there's no one there at all, and I go there for lunch every day. And then I, uh, I, I asked her if uh, she, you know, she would marry me. And she said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Just four days. Before four day, days. we know it's other than What's wrong? You know, <laughs> four days, we not, you know, understand it's other why I can, you know, marry with the guy. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, well, he, the person very loved the children, and he treated the people around him very nice. So whether you love Long and Quinn's story or you love pho, you'll love this 10-hour soup for the soul cooked with love. Everything you do it from your heart. And I always talk with my customer. They're not my customer. When they sit down at my restaurant, they're my family, my friend. That's the reason it's in my mind. I cook for my friend and family. Yeah, and I treat them look like a family. And everything you do it from your heart, they pay off for you. You can check out Anise Modern Vietnamese Eatery for pho and other delicious Vietnamese delicacies. Danny's personal favorites include their wings and their fresh spring rolls. Yum. Visit AniseDenver.com. You can get the full menu there with the full bar, big TVs, and delicious food. Well, you can't go wrong.